What If I Told You, Dear Child, is one of the most surprising things I've seen all year. Today we're talking about the new Netflix limited series. Let's do it. What's up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to the channel. Dear Child is six episodes. It's a limited series. It just dropped on the platform. I want to talk about it, so let's get into it. A mysterious woman's escape from her harrowing captivity points investigators towards the dark truth behind her unsolved disappearance 13 years earlier this is a really dark show and not one meant for kids it's tv mature it features domestic abuse language sexual violence suicide and violence and while not shown to us graphically at first we understand the situation it's eerily similar to a movie like room starring brie larson that's a captivating tale it's one that's told in a haunting way but more of a simplified story a simplified movie even though i absolutely loved it this it, there's a lot going on. It features so many little intricate details, characters that spawn new subplots, and while all of these story threads are going on, there's the one main plot thread starring this woman who at the beginning is hit by a car and hospitalized, and all of the authorities, everyone involved, they're trying to make sense of it all and put together the puzzle pieces and solve this mystery of the young girl who was with her. Now, not soon after that, it's told to us as an audience that this is Lena's daughter. Lena's daughter has a younger brother, so it's one woman and two kids. They were held in isolation in this highly secured room, and this man comes in at the beginning in the first episode, and he asks everyone to show him their hands. And so we immediately believe, okay, clearly they have been kidnapped, or she has been kidnapped. Someone here uh, was involved in this horrible situation. We don't know if the kids came before or after. There are so many unsolved mystery threads within the first episode. Episode that immediately capture your attention as an audience and you are hooked from that point on. But that's not it. That's not the only story because once some things begin to be solved over here, there are so many other elements that uh, spawn up as we go and that makes for just as fascinating of a story as what we get in the beginning. Something else is happening with Lena's family. They're involved. How are they involved? Well, they've been looking for their daughter for 13 years. They come to the hospital and what you expect to come from that beautiful and touching moment turns into what this story is ultimately about. And that for me was more than enough to make me sit back and say, all right, I'm sold. You've hooked me. What do you got for me next? And every twist and turn, every unexpected scene and moment that this show throws at us, for the most part, was unpredictable. And that's really cool. Now, there's one big element of this story that I did see coming, but it doesn't matter as much when the execution is so well. There's, there's a debate going on on Twitter, or X. It's called X now. That's Why? Why? What? But some people on there are like, I don't mind familiar. When a movie does something we've seen before or a TV show, all that matters is the execution. So if we've seen it before and it's handled in an interesting or fascinating way, that's absolutely okay. And when it comes to this big plot point in this show, saw it coming, I've seen it before, but the execution is there. The filmmaking, the script, everything about this was just so interesting. And I really love the performances. Now, it's a German show. When I say that, the first thing you think of is, well, it's Dark. Dark is one of the greatest Netflix shows, one of the greatest TV shows of our time. That's a German series. So you see that and you're like, all right, Germany, what are you bringing us now on Netflix? And there's something about the way this is intricately handled, and we're talking about both the screenwriting and the filmmaking because there are some shots in this show that are so distinct, whether it be looking down on our characters, giving us the idea that whoever they're dealing with is bigger than them in that moment. That was beautiful. The way the camera pans and moves throughout this situation in such an ominous way that makes this real-life feeling situation feel to our characters like they are in a horror film because that's the horror that they're dealing with. And when you deal with, you know, abuse and in this case, unfortunately, sexual abuse, what you see certain characters, what they had to go through as you start to uncover these secrets and, you know, more things involved, more elements involved than what you ever imagine in the first episode. So if you're like, ah, you know, wait until at least 
episodes three or four because that's when it gets juicy. That's when it gets good. But that's also when it gets heartbreaking and what our characters are dealing with. And really the trauma of the situation that they dealt with in the past compared to more so what they're dealing with in the future. But there's also an element to the story. It's what the abuser said or did that ingrained its way into our characters' brains. And that's all they can see, hear, or think about. And some things are starting to come back up in present day to where we are trying to figure out, they are trying to figure out, is this something I'm imagining? Am I looking too far into it? Or is it actually happening to me? And this big conspiracy-like, you know, mystery happening in the background of it all and all of the characters involved trying to solve it in their own distinct way, but also the connections that they have specifically to the family members involved and some things that are brought up in episodes five and maybe even the finale episode, that had me like, wow, I did not see that coming, didn't see that coming. So even though that one big plot point was very predictable, it didn't bother me at the end of the day because I had such a good time and only six episodes, a limited series, and I do believe they wrap everything up, not beautifully, because it's real life, man. At least that's what it feels like, right? So not everything's going to wrap up in this beautiful way, but they wrap it up in a way that feels oh so satisfying. I think the young performers, specifically who play Hannah and Jonathan, they do a nice job here. Oftentimes you can get kids who are a little too annoying. I think of Room, Jacob Tremblay did an amazing job. Same thing with these performers. And obviously it's a German show. I went the subtitle route. I tried the dubbing option just to see how it was and it it wasn't the best, but always go subbing, especially with something like this, to get the true performances, and I did, and they were really good. You have the characters of Gerd and Ada following leads and kind of dealing with their own personal demons as they are trying to solve this issue. In Gerd's case, he's been attempting to handle this for years and years, so what they're dealing with here and this main mystery is important to a lot of people involved, but it's all of the things that spawn from that and the trauma that they are dealing with, but also the trauma that our main character is dealing with and the twists that come along with her character. Regardless, I want to know how you feel about this show. Did you enjoy it as much as I did? Did you feel like the story itself was able to stack up to the filmmaking? Was there a bit too much going on? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoy this Netflix review, be sure to drop that like down below. I'll try to do as many of these as I can. And of course, subscribe to this channel. Featuring a stunningly intense plot filled with twists throughout, Dear Child combines the horror of real life with an interweaving mystery that plays out in the most compelling way possible. This series is the surprise of the year for me, at least on Netflix, if not one of the biggest surprises of the year. I was just really, I mean, this type of story always compels me. It's the horrors of real life, like a room, a little bit like a Denis Villeneuve's Prisoners, but in television series form, and you have so much more going on than what is on the surface. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you'd like me to talk more about this series. I'll see you soon.